Hello, my beautiful, talented, super handsome people. Today we're going to ask the real important question. Why are you so attractive? So, with that in mind, we've got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. So, you decide which one feels right to you. And then we will start the reading. So I'll just give you a moment. So we're going to start with pile number one. So pile number one. What makes you so attractive? You know, with all the questions in the world right now, this is the question we really need to know. <laughs> um, I am graceful as always. So pile number one, what makes you attractive? Pile number one, what makes you so attractive? Pile number one, what makes you so very attractive? So you are full of integrity, you're honest, you're straightforward. People want to have beginnings with you. People always feel like they can trust you. You're romantic. So uh, this, uh, you come in and you offer love and affection. despite past heartbreak and in fact some people think you're a heartbreaker they think that you are just too awesome and everybody uh, would want to be with you they uh people that you used to be in relationships okay people you used to be in relationships uh, with still not really completely over you. Let's see. You've been through a lot. You've been through a lot and no matter what you go through, you keep fighting. So people respect that. You're incredibly strong and you're in control of yourself. You're beautiful. I mean, ow, beautiful. Why do people find you so attractive? At the so people just for some of you you might be musicians or artists yeah people all uh, like a lot of people want an opportunity to be with you but you will um We'll make sure that not only do you give author offers, you do give out offers of love to other people, but you also drink the uh, drink your own cup of love. You you treat yourself with self worth. You might be a little bit. You come off as young, for some of you. Um, 
Um, but people are very attracted to you. You you have admirers. So that was the spellcaster's tarot pile. So pile number one. Why are you so attractive? All right, pile number one, why are you so attractive? Are you so attractive, pile number one? Okay, you really have been a lot of things. You have had to leave behind things that didn't serve you. And you've you've come back and you've come back better. You also come up as the Empress. The Empress is has the qualities of all four queens of the deck. So you take care of your money, you take care of your 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 home, you take care of uh, you know the the uh, your emotional needs and the needs of others. You um, are very passionate and creative. You're incredibly smart and witty. Like, you have everything. And people see that you have everything. Or or at least, whether, uh, no matter how you feel about yourself, people are like, damn. <laughs> You're also very physically attractive. Yes. Now, the Page of Pentacles... This is somebody who like uh, just like makes uh, like has uh, communicates you know concrete things like you might give people you know uh, you might give people like offers you uh, you might be actually a you might be this beautiful and you are you know you you make approaches towards other people as uh you to make them feel more comfortable yes so so you are really beautiful you're really strong you show love to people And people have seen you come out of heart, uh, hard, uh, hardships and heartaches, and each time you come back better and stronger. Yeah. yeah. So that's what makes you super attractive. I think you uh, are definitely a badass. So let me get you a card from the Cosmic Reading deck. What do people, this one, uh, let's see, what makes you so attractive, pile number one? What makes pile number one so attractive?
You just shine. You... You are a basically just an extraordinary person. People feel lucky to be around you. So I'm going to get some charms for you. What makes pile number one so attractive? Okay. You don't panic. Or you might really like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> But you're a calm person. You're probably a calm person because you've dealt with so much serious so so much serious uh, so many serious situations in the past. Uh, I got the Wonder Woman symbol. Um, you are just you know like Wonder Woman in people's eyes. I also got Tinkerbell, so you know you're playful. You hold out branches to people. Yeah, you hold out like olive branches. You're you you give. You know you're you're willing to like bridge gaps or make peace. A key, so you know people see you as just key. Like, you're, you're the person. And I've got a, uh, a red velvet heart. So, and shaky hands. <laughs> but people see you as you, you make their heart so warm and fuzzy. And I've got the pie. So, like, you're... You have a very comforting presence. Yeah. People feel safe about you. With you. You are fun to be around. You're... I always think of this as kind of Maslow's... Um, hierarchy of needs. You've moved and you're... A work, uh, you're very self-actualized person. We have the turtle. Maybe you love turtles. Maybe you uh, maybe you do have a little bit of a shell. Probably from past experiences. But you're you you are a healer. Yeah. People find it healing to be around you. People find it enlightening to be around you. So, pile number one. People are so attracted to you. You just can't help it. <laughs> so, thank you so much, pile number one. Uh, if you didn't like the, uh, if this pile didn't like feel like you then uh you know uh, you can try one of the other piles um and see if that did or try one of my other readings i want to say thank you so much i really appreciate you showing up and if i would very very grateful if you liked shared or subscribed and if you need a personal reading, I also do those. Uh, the information's in the description below, as are the timestamps. So, I hope everybody in your life is healthy, safe, and happy, and I hope you are too. Thank you very much. Now, pile number two. Hello, pile number two. Why? Are you so attractive? We need to know. So pile number two, why are you so attractive? By the way, I see five, five, five on the clock right now. So you might be a transformational kind of person. Maybe 
you've, uh, you've had to make a lot of really big changes in your life. Pile number two. What makes pile numbers two so amazingly attractive? Okay, well, pile number two, you do not see how attractive you are. But it's not true because people want to commit to you. People uh, have, uh, you know, people know that you have a deep well of feeling, that you're very kind. Pile, okay. Pile number two, what makes you so attractive? So I just, uh, uh, the cards I already have out are from the, uh, from the Spellcaster's Tarot. And I'm getting some further ones from the Crow Tarot. So you're caring, but you don't know how attractive you are. You might actually be a really traditional person. Yeah, you're also a very traditional person. And you want and you have been through a, uh, I would say abandonment yeah in the past and maybe that's why you don't see how wonderful you are but you have tr uh, you also have death. You've, uh, you've ended those situations. And you have rebirthed. Right. Or are you in the process of re uh, being reborn? Yeah, you're in the process of being reborn. So it's maybe a fun time, but people want a commitment with you. People see you as somebody that's stable and equal to them, who is, you know, who they would be able to trust, who they would want to marry. They see you as somebody who is emotional in the right way, who's, uh, you know, emotionally mature, who's nurturing. So I can tell that pile number two needs a whole lot of love because while people absolutely do see you as attractive, you're not quite there yet. What makes pile number two so attractive? But I would also say that your pain is going to make you stronger. And you're not, and you're not actually stuck, but you do feel that way.
people fantasize about you? And they'd like to have come forward with something like a stable offer of something with you. So, so far they want to bury you. They want to have a stable, like whoever it is, like, and you've got the 10 of cups. So no matter how you see yourself, at least somebody out here think that you are the ultimate joy that you would be somebody that they uh that they would want to be with forever And ultimately, eventually, hopefully, you'll see that too. But at least this is a start. <laughs> so we'll go with the cosmic reading death. Death. Sorry. I got the death card, now I'm saying death. <laughs> It just means that um, some things in your life weren't meant to be there anymore. And maybe because you lost those things that you maybe took it personally about you. Okay. You're clearly awesome. People think you're the best, and if somebody didn't treat you well, and I get that somebody didn't treat you well, that wasn't a reflection on you, that's a reflection on them. And you had to let that go because you have so much better in store for you. And you're still working on it. That's understandable, especially if if maybe this hurts you for a long time. But gotta believe. So, yeah, you're uh, you're awesome, and you know somebody who's worth your time. will be unbelievably happy that you even gave them the time of day because you, you're the dream. And just because you weren't the dream for somebody who clearly has horrible taste, I'm just saying. Or was trying to manipulate the situation and, you know, maybe had self-worth issues of their own and projected them on you. Okay, had self uh, issues of their own and projected it on you. But that's not on you. That's why that had to die and go away. Okay, people really, really want a chance to be alone with you. Um, you're incredibly attractive. got a boat like people want to maybe travel with you maybe like as uh, so this could be a leg to Egypt or it could be you know some level of self-actualization but I'm getting like people want to travel with you people want to celebrate with you I've got a little martini glass People see you as, uh, this is the dragon, they see you as strong, people would, you know, people would love 
to have you in their life. Just, you know... I also got Believe... And Believe. So some part of you is always... Even though right now you're a little caught in your head, like... You've always believed that, you know, you're worth something good. And you are. Because you're like Wonder Woman. And it, it's your time. You're, uh... This is your time for something good to happen to you. So you, pile number two, my, my wonderful people, you are incredibly attractive. You need to see it for yourself, but everybody else can see it. Everybody else thinks you're awesome. Even the people who treated, didn't treat you awesome know you're awesome. Yeah, they, they know you're awesome. They just... You were too good for them. So, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want a personal reading, I do those too. And I just hope you and everybody in your life is happy, safe, and healthy. Thank you. And we're going to move on to pile number two. Hello, pile number two. We're asking the very important and meaningful question. What makes you so attractive? So let's see what makes you so attractive, pile number two. Sorry, I think I just said two, but you're pile number three. So pile number three, what makes you so attractive? So pile number three, what makes you so attractive? Okay, well, you are very spiritual. I got both the hermit and temperance. People can tell that you really think about what you say that you really look at yourself and that you're always on a path of getting better and self-discovery. Yeah. And, you know, because of this, I think you're amazing. You're like, uh, you make things work that other people didn't think was possible. And you're so balanced. You might be a little bit, um... You might be a little bit hard uh, for people to pin down, too. Yeah. And the Two of Swords. There is a little bit of indecision about you, but... I think uh, it makes people want to, to earn your respect. Like, you... You take your time to figure out 
whether or not somebody is worth your time. So you have, you know, the self sense of self to, you don't need everybody, you just need the right people. You're probably introverted. But people see the spirituality in you. People go to you for healing. You bring people hope. People think that you're incredibly fortunate. And uh, you're very logical. You're very smart. You're a good communicator. So you're smart, you're a good communicator, you're very discerning about who you let be in your life. And you are very, very uh, act, uh, in tune with spirituality. Trust your instincts. You got the star twice. You are incredibly charismatic. Um, probably incredibly attractive. When people meet you, they don't forget you. What makes pile number three so attractive? You are absolutely okay with being by your, uh, being single. You are abundant by yourself. You take care of your things. You, you may want somebody in your life, but you don't need somebody in your life. What makes pile number three so attractive? <laughs> People, if you let them in your life, they feel like it's a privilege that you let them in your life. And people see you know, a, a, a stable union. They see commitment with you. This can be a marriage card. Uh, this can be a celebration card. They see you as somebody that um, they would want to always have in their life. Yeah. So, you are very attractive, very spiritual, very not clicky. <laughs> like, you are very independent. And you do let people in, but it's judiciously. Because you know you need to... You, I'm going to pick up some cards. Because you know that it's so important to be discerning about the people that you let in your life. You know that if you let somebody in your life, they should be not completing you because you're, you're complete, but 
they need to bring value because you you don't just need to have somebody but if they're going to come in your life they need to bring uh they need to make your life better yeah gonna get some charms for you see what makes you so attractive oh I keep getting the healing the staff of Hermes the, the Kundalini so you cause people to have spiritual awakening people feel healed around you people know you're a gem People feel that, you know, being with you would be being with you would be abundance. Here's a branch. Well, you tend to keep things peaceful. You're, uh, you will give olive branches. You will offer forgiveness. You've got the cat, so you can be both um, incredibly loving or you can be aloof. Um, people may have trouble pinning down your energy. I got another gem. So, like, people think you're incredibly valuable. Like, they want to have you in their life no matter how they need to have you in their life. People, I mean, people would be willing to wait for you. People, you know, value your time. You've done a great deal of work towards self-actualization. People just feel love for you and feel a sense of connection. But you're still playful. I've got Tinkerbell here. Maybe you have a little bit of a sense of humor. You don't take everything seriously. You also have a cowboy hat. So maybe you like uh, uh, the Western style. As for some of you, you do. Maybe, oh, maybe it's just part of your playful nature. And I've also got a sea turtle. So you have longevity. Like when people, <laughs> I keep, I'm a dropsy kind of person. Uh, but when people um, see you that they know that you're someone that they want in the, their life for the long haul, but they also know that you don't just let anybody in. So, Pile number three, my wonderfully self-actualized, uh, what, I just want to say thank you. I really appreciate you watching this reading. Uh, if by any chance you want a personal reading specifically for you, I do that as well. And the details are below in the description. And I also would appreciate if you liked or shared or subscribed but no matter what, I hope that you and everybody in your life is healthy, safe, and happy. And thank you.